my last video was interrupted um, a bunch of people kept coming up to me familiar faces from um, fusion so that was cool though I'm pretty grateful for all the people that I've met all those connections that I made <sighs> I'm really grateful for that um and all these people teach me things right so everybody everybody teaches me something right so I'm thinking um a friend of mine talking to them today and they taught me that um I guess like I don't know I guess reflecting and stuff that will that will create different opinions and ideas different ways to rework things in your mind um but we're, we're talking and basically I can't even remember what we were saying but the message that I got from it was that you can't be there's no such thing as nervous you're not fucking nervous like yeah, you think you're fucking nervous but you're not you're just unprepared so prepare yourself right if you're prepared you got a plan even if it doesn't go towards the plan like if the plan doesn't go you are still prepared like if you prepare for plan a plan b anything that could happen anything that is thrown your way you're ready you're ready to get it ready to go after it so i guess i um i took that away from that conversation to be be more prepared and to pay attention right so I'm not ever paying attention I realize that I am paying attention I'm paying attention whatever whatever but I'm never like uh, if you pick up the phone and you look through Spotify while you're driving you're taking attention from the road and putting it to your phone whether you're doing both or not you still it, you're still lacking in one department right so to pay attention and pay attention to these teachers I think that was the most important takeaway was everybody is going to teach you something. Everybody. Whether you want the lesson or whether you figure the lesson out that day, that week, whatever. Everybody's got a lesson for you. That's why they're put, I don't want to say put, I guess that's why they cross your path, right? I truly believe that. That all these people, all these interactions rather are lessons everything that you do is a lesson so pay attention to that don't forget that every every single thing is a lesson so I talked to a really good friend of mine shout out to my baby girl Ali um, I talked to her last night and she made me realize some things she had me paying attention right and she made me realize some things too she's another girl she I can count on her to not give a fuck she don't give a fuck what anybody thinks anybody says it's Allie's world. You can't even live in it. You can't even live in it. It's so good. I love her so much. I love you, Allie. I love your whole family. Greatest people ever. Um, but yeah, yeah. I wanna, I wanna pay some attention to the messages that she was giving me last night. It's really inspiring, motivating me, and um, just having my back. You know, my shoulder. She's my shoulder for sure. I love her, and that makes me think of Jacqueline. Um. So shout out to Travis because I told Travis I was going to shout him out. So shout out to Travis and Jacqueline. And um, I really love you guys. You're pretty great. Yeah. Um, it was cool when Jacqueline and Travis were here. So that was awesome. That was like a month ago. Um, they came to Florida, hung out with me. And I was like, I don't even know. Like it was so cool to to hang out with her again because everything goes right back to normal, right? Allie and Jacqueline, you know that as soon as we come around each other, it's like, where have you been? You haven't been anywhere. You're right here with us. But I think it made me realize, you know, like we're all growing and we're moving and our lives are super progressing. We're all kicking ass in life, and um, it's just incredible to get back together and just have like the same dynamic, though, right? The whole game has changed, but our dynamic stays the same. And I love you guys for that. I love you so much. The little little bird flew south, and every time I come home, y'all are still still one hundred. I, I can't even I can't even tell you how grateful I am for that. Um, that is really that's so that's so friggin' incredible to me. Super grateful for that. Um, yeah. So pay attention to these lessons that people send you. And some some of these lessons might, you know, it might be something negative happens to you or a relationship turns negative and then that's a lesson too. You know, I think when, 
I, I've been not losing a lot of friends, I guess is the wrong way to put it, but that's the only way I can think of it right now. I guess I've been cutting things off, right? So everybody's cuffing, right? Cuffing season is what they say. For me, it's cutting season. I'm cutting everybody off, especially since I'm leaving. Like, I don't care anymore. Like, I used to care because I'm going to see you tomorrow. You know what I mean? But now, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck in general, but even now more. And so, um, yeah, it's cutting season. And so I recommend doing that, you know. I think I said in the last video, you need to evaluate who's really supporting you. And, and thank them. Thank the ones that are supporting you. But the ones that don't, 110% got you just cut them out because there was a time in your life that these people were not involved and look at you still breathing no involvement still fine um but I think you need to learn the lesson too so try to pay attention to the lesson you know try to really think about what what interactions y'all have what you can take away from that situation just learn from it pay attention because they're not always going to be with you. And then the people that are really teaching you lessons, like my father, my grandmother, I interact with them often. In every single conversation I have with them, like the smallest conversation ever, right? Like, hey, how you doing? Are you home? Da, da, da. I always, always find something brilliant. Some brilliant thought comes to my mind as soon as I'm finished talking to them. Well, while we're talking, and I'm like, Dad, I got wait, 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 stop talking. I got to tell you something. I thought of something. And I swear, these people light fires inside you. And you have to, you have to like, first value that, you know, pay gratitude to that. I'm super grateful about everything. I'm, I'm like always spreading gratefulness. It's fucking everywhere around here. Um, and people say that to me. How incredible is that? When I got interrupted, you'll see the video before this video. I got interrupted and that person comes to me and they're like, I can never not smile around you. And I'm like, stop spitting game, you know? And they're like, no, like, for real, like, you're just so, it's impossible to be upset around you. Like, you won't allow it. I'm like, that's so great. I'm so grateful for that. And I want everyone to feel that way. So I hope, like, just motivate you a little bit each day. Um, but, yeah, try to pay attention. Pay attention to these lessons. <sighs> it's incredible reflecting on that. It really is. Um, so, yeah, that's my message today. Pay attention. Giddy up.